अहम समाधाय मनो यथा नहाशन तरविंदे वज्रमो लुलित ग्राम्य पाशो गतिर्मुनेमी अपवित लोक But the force of your thunderbolt, I shall be free from the metal body. Then I shall give up this body and this world of metal desires. Fixing my mind upon the Lord's feet of Lord Sankarshan, I shall attain the destination of such great sages as Narada Muni, just as Lord Sankarshan has said. So this is the heart of a pure devotee. And which is a PR devotee here? The Tasso. Generally, it is said. What is said? It does not matter where person is situated. Dhriye tha ko vane tha ko sada hari ko. Sita Mahaprabhu also says, "In that I am not a brahmacharya, I am not a sannyasi, I am not a grahastha. What am I? Who be Bharatul Patkamal? Who be Dasu Dasa Nu Dasa? Servant or the servant or the servant?" So we see here, Vitasura has taken a very humble position, and he is revealing his heart as he is speaking. His heart is coming out, and what is his heart? Heart of a pure devotee. Oh Lord, so much faith. Yesterday we discussed how the Lord has taken side of his enemy. Our Lord has given a weapon to his enemy to kill him. Yes, sir. Still, you know there is an instance where Radharani also says, but she says the last Shishnastika. Yatha tatha vidha do lamba to mata prana nata na tu seva na para. There is nobody else, my Lord. Uh, you are my prana nata. Do whatever you want. Even if you leave me and go to another girl, anybody can tolerate. They cannot tolerate. Even if you leave me and go to another girl, that is called lumpat. Do whatever you want. You still will remain the Lord of my heart. Ashishya va paadhe tam pinastama. You embrace me, or you kick me by your lotus feet. Adarshanam marma hataam karo thava. You become invisible to me and break my heart in that. Does and yatha tatha vidhadu lumpat. Do whatever you want, even to the extent of becoming a lumpat. मत प्राण नाथ न तो सेव ना परा कृष्ण इज एक्चुअली अ ट्रांसेंडेंटल बट स्टिल शी सेइंग यू विल रिमेन द लॉर्ड ऑफ माय हार्ट इन एनी कंडीशन द लॉर्ड ऑफ माय हार्ट सो हियर वृतासुर आल्सो इज इन द सेम इज इट नॉट गो टू फाइट सम वॉर एंड समबडी गिव्स अ अदर साइड अ पावरफुल वेपन टू किल यू यू नेवर फॉरगिव दैट पर्सन And if you thought he is your well-wisher, you lose faith. He is my well-wisher. He has given a weapon to op oppose his side, a special weapon to kill me. But still, he is saying, "Krishna is so kind." Therefore, it is not easy to understand Krishna's kindness. Krishna is proper. Always says, "Krishna is very kind." People say, "Yeah, God is very merciful." Everybody says. Very easy to say that. If you can feel every moment Krishna's kindness, you are definitely a great devotee. Go out, you see the sun. Krishna is so kind. Yeah, he is a rain sun for me. And, and you go breathe air. Krishna is so kind. You see nice weather. Krishna is so kind. You see very hot weather. Krishna is so kind. See heavy rain, Krishna is so kind. You see severe cold, Krishna is so kind. Any condition you are seeing, Krishna is so kind. See Krishna is so kind. Krishna is so kind. Then you become fit candidate to go back to the spiritual world because actually it is true. But devotees were traveling in America, so they showed just like in India with the LIC symbol in the hand. They are keeping house here. So probably that's why Krishna is keeping. Actually, Krishna is having intense kindness to keep us. Whatever situation we are in, it is the intense kindness of Krishna that is keeping us comfortable. 
Uh, so in this way we should understand all these people, the, the intense kindness of Krishna. And, and to the degree we are advanced we can see kindness of Krishna. Indra sees kindness of Krishna be as a platform of Sakao Bhakta. We cannot say he is not a Bhakta. He is a Bhakta. He is a great devotee. But what kind of devotee? Sakao Bhakta. So Indra is seeing his kindness on that platform. See, I lost my opportunity to enjoy and God is so kind. Now great trouble has come. Ritasura will take away my throne. Krishna is so kind, he gave back my throne. He is seeking that way. Now he has given the weapon, I will fight, I will win, I will kill Vatasura, and again I will sit in Indrapuri, Apsaras will be dancing, I will drink Somarasa and I will enjoy. Krishna is so kind. He is seeing kindness in that way. But of Shuddha Bhakta, Vatasura, he is fine, that is not kindness. He wants real kindness. Deva Prabhupada says, this amount of mercy of Krishna, where we can maintain ourselves and eat and sleep nicely, this mercy everybody gets. Even animals get this mercy. But what we want? We want special mercy. People don't even know this is to be asked. We have then Bhagavatam also. Vipataha, hmm? the Queen Kunti also, my dear Lord, give me some calamity. Tatra Tatra Jagat Guru Bhavata. Darshanam yasyat apuna bhava darshanam. If I see you, my Lord, I don't have to see rebirth again. So please give me more and more calamities. Queen Kunti has suffered whole life because we all know the story. Whole life she suffered. Right? The husband died and then this, then this, then one was, then this, then. She cried whole life. It's a time where Krishna sent Uddhava. Uh, he sent Uddhava to Hastinapur to see what's happening from Dwarka because they are all his relatives. How is Kunti related? Father's sister. Yes, his father's sister. So they are his cousins. So he wants to find out how things are going on. True, there is great devotee, that is the main reason. Externally, they are his cousins. So they come and Uddhava, the Queen Kunti, meets how is everything. She starts crying, she breaks down. These children, as if some lions, wolves, foxes are attacking and want to kill them all. Every day there is an attempt on the life of my children. What is this? So immediately Uddhava, you know, becomes very hurt and he reports to Krishna. This is the situation there. Anyway. So, this is the situation actually. Whole life she cried. And then one of us, the unjust, then their kingdom is taken away, unjust. Their wife is inserted, unjust. Bhima is poisoned. A whole, then they put in the house and houses house is burned. <laughs> and after one was they come back, again the kingdom is not given back as promised. And they said, give five villages not to be given. Then the war and small children, mother will feel like that. Big, big, ferocious fighters. And then the, all that got over, the children became the emperors. So she's telling Krishna, now you're going away. But I ask you one thing, give me some more calamities. Anybody will say, ah, at least now I can relax. No, because she knows there is no way you can relax in this world. This world is world of calamities. Padam, padam, yatapi, padam, natesha. Therefore, any moment you feel, now I'm comfortable, you're in my I'm very comfortable. You're in my Already in my Already fallen down. Next fall down will come very soon. <laughs> because we are just holding on to Krishna's lotus feet. But you think, no, somehow I am comfortable. Uh, by some kind of material achievement, then you are totally in total madness. We are never comfortable in this world. We are always in trouble. We are always in danger. So here Vritta Sura also wants to solve it once for all. The Prabhupada says, if you go back to Godhead, by one, that one solution, you solve all the problems. It's like a simple example is given to understand. It's just an example. Suppose on the street somebody is there. He is the father's child, roaming on the road here, there. And then what happens? You go to the child, and it's a worthy problem. 
ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಊಟ ಇಲ್ಲ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಯು ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಬಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೇ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ವೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪುಟ್ ಇಮ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿಲಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ವೆಲ್ ವಿಶಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಯಾವ ಟು ಪುಟ್ ಇಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೌಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಓವರ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಕ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ and if you make people to take shelter of krishna by that one decision of a person makes all his problems are over therefore that is what the prabhupad is doing and that is the purpose of the iskon movement shila prabhupad created we have no other purpose we should not be lost into any other purpose when people meet us what is iskon stands for our business is sir you take shelter of krishna your all problems will be over that's all we have no other mission in this world you see the prabhupada has given seven objectives focused on this to bring people to shelter of krishna that is our focus we don't want to get lost into anything else because we why we know if this happens the rest will easily happen okay that is why we go out we give people proper books please read proper books people are immediately benefited so they getting they getting proper so they read this book so much information they will get they read book carefully then what we are supposed to do then what is the use of iskon movement we can only have book discussion no it is needed we have to explain those books it's like i gave an example how many times 100 times of it in a college textbooks are there teacher doesn't write textbooks but he has a role to play to explain the textbooks okay that also we should do it may be possible that some student can just read textbook properly and understand everything definitely possible but still person needs better understanding correct okay? just like the same thing like holy name if you give anybody holy name holy name itself is so powerful it make him a pure devotee okay to shakti ile holy name similarly proper books are also so powerful they make anybody a pure devotee but always still somebody needed to explain to you how to chant the holy name how to hold the beads what are the 10 offenses who is krishna unless you understand that the chanting will not be pure so do chant purely you need a teacher you understand the same way proper books are there nobody can read and become a pure devotee potentially it is possible but to read the book in a way every word you hold without any offense yeah. hearing the word of the acharya without any offense the words coming from the spiritual word word by word you need somebody to guide you this like you go to somebody to teach you how to chant who is chanting better than you? He chants every word, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Prabhuji, how you chant so nicely, please tell me. When I chant, my mind is so disturbed. And he explains to you, and you are benefited. You are able to concentrate better. You are able to chant with better attention. Then you need his help. Otherwise, you don't need his help. Chanting, anybody can do. Okay? The same way, reading of Prabhupada books, is also can take you back to God. But then, generally speaking, exceptions are there. But generally speaking, you need somebody to guide you. Just like the chanting. Hare, these are the words of a great Acharya. You do not know. He is a Senapati of Lord Chaitanya. He has spread the mission all around the world. He has done this. When he hears you, what you are doing? You are improving his quality of reading. You got it? You are getting this point or not? Just by chanting and reading, anybody can go back to krishna but the problem is person will not chant properly person will not read properly that's a problem just like when you are chanting you are thinking of so many things hare krishna hare krishna where i will go today the collection the kota ra the smoke hare krishna hare krishna correct no mind is disturbed there so shuddha chanting we need to somebody to guide us how to chant 
this holy name is not different from Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu say, Nam Nam Akari Bahuda Nija Sarva Shakti. Hear properly. Huh, correct. So you will get. So we can enhance. We have to just connect. Our business is to connect. That is the role of the Guru. What is the Guru doing? Connecting us to the holy name. Connecting us to the Prabhupada. That's all. He is not coming in between. Then you remove it. <laughs> Please go somewhere. We are chanting the holy name of the Lord. The, the Krishna will take us back to God and Prabhupada books will take us back to God. And these two things are final, no doubt. But how do I chant properly? I am unable to chant. So many offenses are happening. Mind is distracted. No interest to chant. Even though I know now I should chant. Somebody is like, no, you should do. You are determined. Human life is very short. Any day you will go. Okay. And you get inspiration. Similarly, we read Prabhupada books. No taste. Correct? Yes. No, you should read the words of a pure devotee, to the heart of a pure devotee. Prabhupada says, these books are my ecstasies. And Sharamatam Sakata Krishna Punya Shamana Kirtana. It is so auspicious if you read these books. Even by reading one word, one line, your good fortune is opening up. I get inspired to read. When I read, I read. Every word, try. Somebody told Srila Prabhupada, I want to follow you word by word. Prabhupada said, begin. You cannot begin. You cannot do it in one second. I totally surrender. That is also theoretically possible. You can surrender in one moment. Theoretically possible. Practically, Shachara yeah. says, one chanting is enough. You don't have to chant whole life. Hare, once you chant, Krishna is enough. But then there should be quality of that chanting. Okay? Draupadi just said once, Govinda, finish. Krishna came. Ajamila said once, Narayana, Yamudutta, Vishnudutas came. We are also chanting every day, Hare Krishna, nobody is coming. <laughs> there was often said, there is one example from Sri Vaishnavas. What happened when Ramanujya Acharya was walking and somebody threw prasadam in the river. So immediately one fish ate, got a Vaikuntha body and went back. So disciples said, every day we are also eating prasad. They said, you are making aparadas. <laughs> the fish made no aparada. So we should not make any aparada. Our problem is aparada. No faith. Actually, no use. It's <laughs> Mind back, that has to go away. That takes time to go away. Okay? Therefore, we have to play that role. So the Prabhupada therefore gave uh, two vidis, the Goswamis, understanding situation in Kaluga. One thing is called Pancharatrika, one thing is called Bhagavad Vidhi. Pancharatrika Vidhi does what? And Bhagavad Vidhi does what? Bhagavad Vidhi is, we are chanting Hare Krishna, we are reading Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita. That is called Bhagavad Vidhi. Bhagavad Vidhi na niyame na kala, any time it can be. You don't have to take bath. Prabhupada is to get up. Till 4 o'clock, Prabhupada is to writing, then you just start chanting. You don't, you don't need to take bath for Bhagavad Gita. But Pancharatara Vidhi, you have to take bath. You can go to see Aarti of the Lord, better take bath. And you're going inside the altar, do all suchi, correct? Do Ajavan. Purify yourself. Pancharatara Vidhi has rules. Bhagavad Vidhi has no rules. But for spiritual advancement, in for a but typical soul of Kaliyuga, both are needed. There are exceptions like Haridas Thakur, Bhagavad Gita, chanting 192 rounds per day. Okay? But it is not possible for us to imitate Haridas Thakur. We cannot do that. There are the Goswami, the city whole day, city writing. Okay? But if you see, even though they were so exalted, they did not neglect Pancharatri Kaviti. All the Goswami, they built a temple. They are worshipping the deity. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, the greatest propounder of Bhagavad Vidhi, he never built a temple. But daily used to go for darshan of Jagannatha. Okay? So the Goswami has actually made a package, which finally Prabhupada put into picture of both Bhagavad Vidhi and Pancharatra. So both should go on. Prabhupada said, just like you walk on how many legs? One leg or two legs? You can walk on one leg. Not very difficult, but it is a little difficult, you know? Possible. But two legs is comfortable. So if 
Pancharatara with the Bhagavad Gita, both are combined together, then our spiritual growth is very solid. And we can see it is effective only. Everybody can at home chant Hare Krishna and do whatever is doing. He feels no, when with the devotees, and the Aarti is happening, and uh, your Bhoga is offered to the Lord, we see the deities, we take the version of the deities, that helps us. Prabhupada says, when you keep looking at the deities, an impression is formed in the heart, naturally, without your effort. Just like, you look at a girl, so keep looking at her, impression forms in the heart. Correct? You see, that image keeps coming in your mind. You should not do that. The so same way, when you keep thinking about Krishna, keep looking at the deity, slowly the impression will form in the heart, depending on how pure we are. Pure devotees, they always have the impression in the heart. For us, it takes a lot of time. But at least the image is there in the heart. Anybody, anything you see, just like you see the light, big light, halogen on your head, that you close your eyes, you keep seeing that impression on you. Can you see or not? That impression close also, that light will be there. The impression is formed immediately. So similarly, when you look at the deities, it's a archana vidhi, the impression, and it is spiritual. That impression is spiritual. We have so many impressions in our mind, they're all material. What is this impression? Spiritual impression. So that impression will help you. You can always think about that. An impression is naturally formed when you take darshan of the deity. You're looking. Prabhupada does say, unless you're spiritually advanced, you cannot hold your sight of the deities. Cannot hold, mind will go there. But a devotee, they look at the deity. Prabhupada was on a small child, he used to carry him on the trolley, and for hours he used to take darshan of his Radha Govinda deities. You know, he used to the community deities, Moli community had deities. Prabhupada used to go hours seeing the deity. That's a, that's a, that's a mark of a Nitya Siddha, he is an eternal state of the Lord. Imagine small child, do we have such interest? Small children, you cannot hold them for five seconds. Can we hold them for five seconds? They disappear. You have seen that? They poke their run away. They can't hold. They are very restless. But small children, when they show the mind, is easily fixed on Krishna's lotus feet. And they want to worship the Lord right from childhood. Shows a great symptom. They are already great devotees in the previous life. Okay? Otherwise, naturally, their devotion will not come out so fast. It's like visible in their personality. So, therefore, we have to combine both in all. Among Pantarat or Bhagavad Vidhi, which is greater? Bhagavad Vidhi is greater. Because when there is sometimes we cannot do, we do Bhagavad Vidhi. But otherwise, both should be combined together. Okay? Sometimes in emergency, we are traveling. Where I will take the ocean? You're in a city. <coughs> Sit and chant your own free properties and can But an opportunity there we should not miss. Therefore, the sadhana should, as far as possible, sadhana always should be pakka. If the sadhana is good, our spiritual life will always be solid. Sadhana is nothing but a package where both Bhagavad Gita and are combined together. There is chanting, there is deity worship, there is arti, there is prasadam. It is combined very nicely, a package. Everything is there. If you read in Nectar Devotion, there are 64 elements for advancement of devotion service. Everything is there. Putting water in Tulsi, circumulating Tulsi, paying obeisance to the deed. Everything is there, included in the package that Acharya means. So we should see. Day after day sadhana goes on. And as Krishna says, please, slowly we start making rapid spiritual advancement. Shri Prabhupada, please. Shri Prabhupada, please.